Hello everyone, today we'll be talking about the fourth CPU scheduling algorithm which is the priority scheduling and this is another easy algorithm just like the first come first serve algorithm. Uh, the main, uh, as you can see that there is no arrival time given here. Even in the first come first serve algorithm that time there wasn't supposed to be an arrival time but you can give an arrival time and it doesn't really matter. Whenever there is no arrival time given it usually means that AT equals to zero that is arrival time equals to zero which means that all these processes you see, all, all of them have arrived at the same time. So, since they've arrived at the same time, the, the only thing that we care about is the priority that's given. And the lower the priority, the higher, uh, the, the, if, if the, lower, if the lower the number, the higher is the priority. So, based on the priority, we execute that process first. So, since the priority of this is 1, we start executing P2 first. Alright, so 0, 1. So, we execute P2 first since the burst time of P2 is 1. Then we execute the second process, the second priority process which is P5. So P5, we execute it. So 1 plus 5 is 6. Then the third one is P1. So let's execute P1. It's a really big process. So 6 plus 10 is 16. Fourthly, we execute P3. P3, so <clears throat> what you call uh, the burst term is 2 so 18 and p4 is the last process that we execute so p4 the burst term is 1 so 19 all right so this is done this is the gun chart we, that we get now let's find the waiting time uh, the waiting time for p1 is uh, since the arrival time is 0 and the visiting time is 6 so 6 minus 0 is 6 so the waiting time of p1 is 6 p2 P2, the, uh, the, uh, the visiting time is 0, the arrival time is also 0, so 0 minus 0 is 0. Alright, so P3, for P3, the, the uh, visiting time is 16, the arrival time is 0, so 16 minus 0 is 16. P4, the waiting time is, uh, what do you call, 18, and the arrival time is 0, so 18 is the waiting time. And P5, the... Uh, Arrival, the visiting time is 1 and the arrival time is 0, so 1 minus 0 is 1. Alright, so this is the waiting time and you can find the average waiting time. It's just the sum of the waiting time divided by the number of processes. Alright, so that's about it. it for priority scheduling. This was another really easy algorithm, nothing to do actually. So um, yeah, I hope you understood the tutorial and please give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you want more CS tutorials and good luck.